Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Thrive. We really appreciate you joining us today. Well today I'm with my special friend Mary Schooler. I've actually known her for a long time and I know a little bit about her journey in life. And you, So welcome Mary, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy yourself. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm always enjoying myself when I'm around you positive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, the Bible talks about God being faithful, and God's a faithful God. And, you know, I've known you over the years. I've known you when you've been up and when you've been down and up again. And God's been faithful to you. Would yeah. you say that's true? Yes, God's been amazing. Yeah. For instance, uh, you got married a few years ago. Yes, the Lord um, brought a beautiful man into my life. Yeah. Who loves the Lord. Yeah. That's one thing that I always said that if I was going to get married, he would have to love the Lord. Yeah. And have respect yeah. for me. Yes. And um, without giving him a big head, because you'll probably watch it. No, he's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and so I that... didn't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. God yeah. just knew my heart. And yeah. he knows what you need and what you want. And that really was a miracle because I, I can remember when you had your back to the wall. Oh, yeah. And, and then there was so much trouble. And yet God brought you through and you're yeah. thriving today. I've had, I've been to a point where I've been a single mum. Yeah. And yeah. Um, had my kids by myself. Haven't had food to even give them to eat. Wow. Um, never thought I'd have my own home. Yes. I've got this beautiful home now. Yeah. I'll start getting upset because <laughs> um, God's just blessed my life so much. Yeah. And he just knows what you need and what you want. Yes. And um, when I stayed, um, my husband-to-be at that time, I didn't know, but when I stayed in his home, the Holy Spirit said to me, this man is going to be a big part of your life. And I was like, no, God, no, I'm not going to, you know, have my own home and whatever. And um, he's just blessed me. Yes. You know, he's just blessed yes, he me has. amazing. And he's provided me for me financially. Yeah. Um, even before Tony came into my life, I was pretty independent. Yeah. Um, I'd lost my job because of um, my knee uh, uh -huh. work. Um, I've had two... Um, False knees. Yeah. And now I can run and jump and I'm exercising. And God said to me, one day you're going to be dancing in church. Wow. And I can do that now. So, so I can't recall seeing you dance in church. So after this <laughs> lockdown, we're going to have to remind yeah, you of what you just said. Oh, well, I've been out dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. You are, are blessed and you're favoured by God. Do you deserve that? Do you, you know, do you deserve that God's faithfulness? None of us deserve it. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's only by his grace and his love for us. So you haven't There's nothing earned to, it? No. I have been... I have stuffed up so yeah. many times in my life. I've, yeah. You know, there's things I don't even want to talk about that I've yeah. done in the past. But yes. God has still been faithful to me and he's still given me my beautiful life. Yeah. I look back and I see the life I had and I used to dream about it. And I used to think, oh, God, I'd love that peace yes. and that quiet in my life because I never had that peace. Yeah. Um, shalom peace. Yeah. And um, I wake up every day thanking God for my life. So you don't deserve it, and yet God has been faithful. Is that the same for everybody, do you think? Yeah, definitely. That God yeah. is faithful to people? And, you know, so what he loves you need, us. He, he loves everyone. So God loves everyone. I'm no special person. Yeah. God just loved me. So yeah, and you've put your trust in me. Him. Yeah. And that makes all the difference, doesn't it? Even when you've got your back to the wall. Oh, keep yeah. Trusting it's the Lord. a daily. Yeah. It's a thing of giving over to God. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Um, you know, there's times when the enemy will come and say, you're not worthy of that. Yeah. But I just say, no. The Lord loves me, so... Well, I actually think there's still more to come your way. Yeah. Absolutely, because God always remains faithful. But we just want to encourage our listeners to yeah. trust God, that God is faithful. Even, even if right now you, you're a Christian, perhaps, and you've, you're going through a difficult time, you know, hang in there. Yeah. Because God 
brings good out of bad, turns situations around like he has for you. So we just want to encourage you back at home to trust in God's faithfulness. Amen? Yep. So why don't we just pray right now? Shall we pray? Father, we just pray for listeners, Lord, who are perhaps a little bit discouraged Mm -hmm. and that they feel that things are just too difficult for them. We just pray today that you'll encourage them and remind them that you do love them, that you are faithful and that you're with them right now and that you'll bring them through. We, We thank you, Lord, for your goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with us today, Mary. Thank you. God bless you, everybody. Thank you.